What we discuss in our course, and a lot of what we talk about is when you learn system science, as you can see in this diagram, I don't have time to go through this. When you take the course, you'll understand it more. But every system in the universe, if you took an engineering systems course at MIT or any engineering school, at some point, you would learn that every system in the universe can be broken into an open system, which is this little dotted line, or a intelligent system, which is this whole system. So an intelligent system has these nine principles. It's got a goal, it's got a sensor, it's got a controller. And there's also a thing here called a disturbance I've left out. But in addition to that, it has an input, output, transport, conversion, and storage. The essence of system science is you have a goal and the controller, in this case, it could be you, your mind, is trying to figure out what inputs to send the system to get an output which matches a goal. There is a science to really understanding how to build a movement. And it's based on system science. If you want to learn how to build a bridge, you have to understand Newton's equations. If you want to understand how to build large scale electrical systems, it's probably important that you understand Maxwell's equations and V equals IR, right? But we tend to think that we're going to somehow just go build a movement and change the world. In order to do that, we need to understand the science of systems. And those in power actually do understand the science. So it's important that if you're serious about changing things, you understand this. So this diagram is a pinnacle of that. But one of the key things that we have to understand is what is the goal, right? The important thing to understand is that your goal may be different than their goals. So what is the goal of the ruling class? The goal of the ruling class is very different than your goal. The goal of the ruling class is power, profit, and control. And to achieve power, profit, and control, those in power send particular inputs and we discussed this in the class around six of them. That's how they achieve power, profit, and control. And it's important to understand what inputs you are exposed to every day if you're going to have the, even a chance of combating it and winning it. And there's a science to it. Alternatively, the other question we must ask, which is relevant to all of us, is what is the goal of working people? And the goal of working people is vastly different. It is truth, freedom, and health. And as you can see here, and in order to achieve truth, freedom, and health, there's six different kinds of inputs that we have to struggle and fight for. And those inputs are necessary ingredients to achieve truth, freedom, and health. And of course, we cover this, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of this is not just words, but there is a scientific theory, what I like to say, the science of everything to really understand this. There's another book that you guys may want to explore called Your Body, Your System, and you can use this science to even understand how your body works as a system. Okay, so one of my intentions was to teach people this science because without a theoretical framework, it's hard to take action. You can take actions and you can make mistakes all day, but if you had a framework, then you know which paths you should not pursue. So that's why we developed the course to support you. But ultimately, what I wanna really emphasize is the goal here is really about you. When we step back and we really look at what all the great scientific traditions, be it the Enlightenment or many of the great spiritual traditions, we're trying to impart to people is ultimately you take a rational, objective scientific approach and you realize, yes, you can talk about saving the world, but ultimately the goal is about you. And I want everyone to listen carefully to this. The goal is really about you, really for you to be an agent of change, not to wait for someone else to do it, but to really for you to be an agent of change, what I could say, be the light for you to find your way and also to know the truth. But this is deeply a personal journey, but it's really about you elevating your consciousness. It's not about me imparting some knowledge to you. Ultimately, it's about you elevating your consciousness, but it's you elevating your consciousness to see things as they are. In many of the great scientific and spiritual traditions, we talk about seeing things as they are. In science, we try to objectively observe things. In the scientific method, it really comes down to observation. In many of the traditions where you go away to a monastery or you pray or you meditate, the main purpose in doing that was for you to start observing the world as it is in equanimity. So one of the goals here is to see things as they are. Otherwise, you can get taken advantage of and used by one side or another side. All right. But the reason that you want to see things as they are and you want to elevate your consciousness is because ultimately, in a very practical way, we want to identify real problems and deliver real solutions. So this is really about being very practical. We want to elevate our own consciousness to see the world as it is so we can really look at a situation beyond left and right and see, hey, this is what the real problem is and this is what the real solution is. And why do we want to do that? We want to do that ultimately advance truth to advance freedom and health. Now, this could be just for you. It could 
could be for your own body, it could be for your family, it could be for your community, and it could be for your nation and the world, depending on which level you want to operate at. But ultimately, it's about you elevating your consciousness to see the world as it truly is so you can advance truth, freedom, and health, be it for you, your body, your family, your community, your nation, and the world. And for me, we have put together a system of curricula. We put together a system of community independent of big tech and a community that you can interact with others because you can't do this on your own. The more you touch others, talk to others, touch others, meaning communicate with others. We're not talking about physically touching people. You build a movement for doing this. And I'll come back to that. But ultimately, the goal is about you. It's not about something outside of you. Now, the question is, how do we achieve this goal? How do you elevate your consciousness to so see things as they are? Because if I just said to elevate your consciousness, we could just talk about spirituality or religion. But the goal here is to see things as they are in order to identify real problems and deliver real solutions so as to advance truth, freedom, health, be it for you, your body, your family, your community, nation, and the world. So we're really trying to connect heaven and earth here. How do you achieve that goal? Number one, you have to learn to think. And you have to learn to think. In order to do that, you have to learn the science of systems. And why do I keep emphasizing this? Because in the modern world, we live in a world of complex systems. Your car is a complex system. You have to be involved in healthcare systems. You're involved in political systems. You're involved in election systems. You're involved in using all sorts of technology systems. And without having a framework to understand systems, you are really just simply a user, a cog in the wheel. Now you may want to be that and that's fine. It's a choice you make. Hopefully you make that consciously. But if you really want to understand the modern world, we need to learn the science of systems. And you have a couple of ways you can do this. One, you can read all the books you want and try to figure it out yourself. You can go to places like engineering schools, like MIT, get a bunch of degrees. You can learn from others, but ultimately the science of systems, it is purposely been made inaccessible to the ordinary person. My journey has been to make it accessible to everyone. So we put together this curriculum, but the main purpose in putting together this curriculum was so you could become the light. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is you can become an agent of change. You're no longer reliant on waiting for someone else to come uh, save the world for you, a politician or someone, but but you, once you understand these principles, you have the tools to think beyond left and right, pro and anti. Those in power are dedicated to splitting working people on every issue, gun violence, abortion, uh, healthcare systems, right? The issue of the First Amendment. Every issue, working people are being split into pro and anti within microseconds, how the media works, or thinking left and right. And as long as we're in that world, you are a slave. But if you understand the science of systems, you have tools, hopefully with the community of others, to start looking at our problems beyond left and right. So that's how we get out of this. And ultimately, this is so you can become the light to inspire, educate, and move others to learn to think and learn the science of systems. So this is not about an individual or you being reliant on an individual. This is ultimately you learning these principles so you become the light, you become the educator, and you become a source of truth, freedom, and health. That's what it's about. That's why when I say go to the foundations of systems, go to vashiva.com slash join. We have hundreds of thousands of people. You won't feel alone. Get the book, System and Revolution, and come to our open house. Again, absolutely free. Anyone can come. We have discussions, 11 a.m. or 8 p.m. Just simply go to vashiva.com slash orientation. <laughs>